In this video, I want to go through some examples of finding the square roots of these square numbers. So I'm going to tell you that 441, 576 and 1444, these are all square numbers that I'm trying to find the square root of. So we're not going into decimals or anything. And we're going to be using um, the unique factorization theorem, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to have to write down the first few prime numbers. So I'm just going to write down the first six, as I've been doing in the other videos. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. Really good practice to just keep on uh, writing down your prime numbers. So 441. Now that's a tricky one to start with because that's not divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? Well, 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9, which is divisible by 3. So 4 for 1 must be divisible by 3. So if I divide 4 for 1 by 3, I'm going to get... Um, well, what am I going to get? 4, 4, 1, divided by 3. 3 into 4 go once with one remainder. 3 into 14 go 4 um, with 2 remainder. And 3 into 21 go 7. So 1, 4, 7. 3 is prime. OK, so 1, 4, 7 is not prime because 1 plus 4 plus 7 uh, is 12, which is divisible by 3. So 1, 4, 7 is divisible by 3. Ah, now what would that be? Right, so 1, 4, 7 divided by 3. 3's into 1 can't go. OK, so remainder 1. 3's into 14 go 4 with 2 remainder. 3 to the 27 go 9. So that would be 49. Now 49 is not prime, but it's not divisible by 2, 3 or 5, but it is divisible by 7 because 49 is 7 squared, so 7 times 7. So 441 is 3 times 3 times 7 times 7. Now if we share that out, we can write that as 3 times 7 times 3 times 7. So each pair gets a 3, and they both get a 7. So that is 21 times 21. So the square root of 441 has to be 21. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at 576. Now, 576 is even, so I can divide it by 2. Now, how many 2s go to 576? All right, let's do a bit of short division. 2s into 5 go twice with the remainder 1. 2s into 17 go 8, remainder 1, 2 to the 16 go 8, so 288. Now 288 is not prime, in fact it's divisible by 2. That one's quite easy to divide, divide by 2 because it's 2 times 144. Now 144 is divisible by 2 as well, and that's 72 times. And 72 is divisible by 2, 36 times. 36 is divisible by 2 18 times, and then 18 is 2 times 9. 9 is not divisible by 2, it's 3 times 3. So 576 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So we want to share this out evenly. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six twos. So three there and three there. And we need a three each. So there are my pairs. 
2 times 2 times 2 is 8 times by 3 is 24. So this is 24 times 24. So the square root of 576 must be 24. Okay, so you can see this method is quite nice. A nice way of being able to find the square root of these integers, um, which can seem quite daunting otherwise. Um, how about the square root of 1,444? Okay, so 2 goes into 1,444. Um, what's that going to be? 722 times. Now, 2s will definitely go into 722. But by how many? So 722 divided by 2. 2s into 7 go 3, with remainder 1. 2s into 12 go 6. And then 2s into 2 go 1. So 361. Right, OK. Now, 361. Well, that's awkward, because 2 doesn't go into 361. 3 um, isn't going to go into 361 because 3 plus 6 plus 1 is 10, um, and that's not divisible by 3. 5 is not going to go in. 7 7, so that's 0, remainder 3. 7 to 36 go 5 with 1 remainder. 7 to 11 go once, uh, remainder 4, so that's out. Okay, so not 7. Um, 11. 11 into 3 goes 0, remainder 3. 11 into 36 go 3, remainder 3. And clearly this isn't going to go in, so that's 2. Um, remainder 9. So, yeah, that's no good. Not interested in remainders. So 11's out. What about 13. Well, 13 to the 3 goes 0, remainder 3. 13 times 2 is, 30, is 26. So 2, remainder 10. 13's into 101. Um, well, 9 times 13. Um, that won't be any good, would it? Uh, 7 times 13, rather would be 91. So I think it's 7, and that'd be remainder 10. So that's no good. So 13's out. OK, so we've exhausted our list, so we're going to have to go beyond, right? So what's the next prime number after 13? Well, not 14, not 15, not 16, but 17. Um, then after that, it would be 19. OK, so 361 divided by 17. All right, well, 17s uh, into 3 goes 0, remainder 3. 17s into 36 go 2, with um, remainder 2. And that's going to be 1, remainder 4, so that's no good. OK, so 17 doesn't go into it. What about 19? So 19's into 361. So that's 0, remainder 3. 19's into 36 would go once um, with 17 left over. And, well, 10 19's is 190. So that'd be 9. So it goes in 19 times. Right. We finally got somewhere. So 361 is 19 times 19. They're both prime. Right. So 1,444 is 2 times 2 times 19 times 19. 
So that's 2 times 19 times 2 times 19. So that's 38 times 38. So 1,444 square rooted is 38. Now that one was tough. Okay, that one was tough. Uh, lots of short division to double check. Uh, but really that's me modelling how I would tackle that problem. Okay, so I didn't know what the square root was going to be. I needed to try my prime numbers and dividing by each time. And that's where your mental arithmetic and building up your mental arithmetic skills really has to come in. Okay, the more you practice that, the better. Um, but yeah, that last one was definitely tricky. Okay, so um, it really does take some practice with your um, mental arithmetic and the process so you know what you're looking for.